Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Nicole Lauren. I'm a photographer and attorney and here on this little corner of the internet we talk a lot about business ownership, entrepreneurship, and photography and much, much more. You guys have really been enjoying my more lifestyle content, kind of just sitting down and talking with you, showing you my office, things like that, and I've really loved filming those videos. But I also want to use this space as an opportunity to show you tutorials. So kind of just to walk you through with a, with a short and sweet and easy video to watch so I can recommend products to you and software and things that I use in my business daily. And so I'm really excited about this video. If you've already seen the title of this video, you know that this video is about Toggle. Toggle is a time tracking app that I use in my business every single day, multiple times per day. If I'm working, in fact, if I'm working in my office, I 100% also have Toggle running in the background. I have it running right now. I'll show you that in just a second when we switch over to my screen recording. But Toggle is just so good. It is the number one app I use in my business besides Gmail, I guess, or G Suite but it is hands down the best thing that I've ever done for my productivity in my business, for knowing more about myself and my business, being able to track and just analyze things. I'm a big data nerd, so I love Google spreadsheets and seeing how things are unfolding and tracking things. And so being able to track my time and seeing what I'm doing, how efficient I'm being, different times of day that I feel most productive, different days of the week that I feel most productive. It has all of that and it's so amazing. So if you're not time tracking in your business, you definitely need to. And if you've never tried Toggle before, you definitely need to give it a shot. I would recommend that if you're new to Toggle, give it a shot for about a week. Track every single thing in your business. You can even track personal things in your life as well. I don't personally do that. I definitely keep like a day planner. It's written and I'll write things that I do in there so I can kind of stay on track and not waste time scrolling or watching TV or whatever. But for Toggle, I primarily use it for my business and a couple other like hobbies and side, side things that I do in my business as well. But Toggle was a huge thing that came into my life mostly when I quit my full-time job. So once I quit my nine to five job about a little over a year ago, uh, and you can listen to that full story. I have another video all about that. You guys really seem to like it. I'll leave that video linked above if you want to check it out. But once I quit my full-time job, Toggle became huge for me because if you're going from a nine to five mindset where you're going into an office and you kind of have like a forced productivity mentality, you're there for a certain set of hours, you're there for a certain number of days, and it kind of just takes that pressure off of you to be productive. But when you're just waking up, rolling out of bed, and then walking over to the next door to get into your office, or maybe you don't even have a home office and you're working from the kitchen table, that's totally fine. Like that makes a ton of sense, especially if you're just starting out. So it's crucial that you have something like Toggle to really just help your brain get into the working mode. And that is what Toggle has been for me. It has been like, honestly, I don't say this lightly, but it has been life changing for my business and my productivity and my efficiency and also just giving myself credibility that, hey, I'm a business owner. I'm working this amount of hours every single week. This is legit. And it is, I don't know what the word is, but it's, it's, it's validating. It's validating me and my business and really just helped me make the switch to being a CEO, owning my business and thriving in it versus just treating it as a side hustle, something that I just slip into different pockets of my day, but actually owning my business, being in it every single day, tracking the time, seeing what I'm spending time on. It's just so helpful in so many ways. So let's dive into the app. I'm gonna do a little screen recording of my own toggle. And this is my actual toggle account in real time. It's like honestly a little bit vulnerable to share with you because you're gonna see all the different things that I worked on last Friday, last Thursday, and you're gonna see different categories that I have and things like that. So it is very personal and very vulnerable, but I like to keep it real over here on this YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you all of it. And another thing I want you to note is that you'll see that I actually did not work very many hours in my business last week. Right now it's September and in the place that I'm in, wedding season is starting to ramp up. So photography is starting to ramp up for me. And I have been really busy the past couple weeks and I actually worked a lot more like two weeks ago. But for this past week, I actually only clocked in 11 hours and that you might be like seeing that and like, oh my gosh, I don't know how she's working 11 hours only. My business takes so much time. I'm maybe in a building stage of my business where I feel like it's just sucking the life out of me. And I just want to normalize that for you and just say, hey, that's totally normal. I was there before and I'll, I'm probably going to make another YouTube video all about how I've only started working like 10 to 15, maybe even 20 hours in my business 
for most of this year. And that's not something that just happened overnight. It's not something that I started out doing. And there's so many different systems in place that I have that's allowed me to get to this point and still make six figures in my business. So that's going to be another video for another time. We're not going to get sidetracked with that, but I just want to just address it here at the outset so that if you see that and you're like, oh my gosh, she only works 10 hours a week. That's crazy. That I could never do that. Number one, you could do it. And number two, we're not going to talk about it right now. It's going to be for another video. So definitely subscribe. Stay tuned for more. The cool thing about toggle is that I can have this running in the background whenever I'm working. And I often do this. I usually don't use the feature that allows me to track time after the fact. And I mean, there's sometimes that I will, especially if I'm out shooting a wedding, I'm not necessarily gonna have this running in the background on my phone for the eight hours that I'm shooting the wedding. But for the most part, if I'm in the office and working, I have it actually running in the background. This gives me a lot of different benefits. So the first thing is that it helps me stay on track if I know that I'm on the clock, even though that's something that I've just totally made up because I am working for myself. If I know that I'm on the clock, I'm gonna be more dedicated and focused. I'm not gonna just go scroll on Facebook or Instagram if I'm on the clock because then I'll actually have to clock out and then go, go do those things. So it takes more steps for me to do that. The second reason that I like doing this is I can see in real time how long some is taking me so if I feel like I'm editing for forever and it's taking so long and it's just sucking the life out of me editing is like one of my least favorite parts of my job honestly but I love pretty much all the parts of my job so editing I still love it's just like one of my least favorite parts so if I feel like that's the case I can actually look back and see okay how long have I spent editing this gallery or how long have I spent editing today as a whole and it can be a good reality check for me to see like, okay, am I spending too much time on this? Oh, no, I've actually only been spending 15 minutes. It felt like three hours, but it's only been 15 minutes. So like, get it together, Nicole, you're fine. And so just having this as like a way to structure my day is very helpful. So you'll notice that right here, I am using toggle to just be running in the background as I'm recording. Now you'll notice that this video is probably not at 13 minutes yet as you're watching it, but I've been recording for 13 minutes or at least I've been setting everything up and doing this for at least 13 minutes. So that really helps me to know, hey, I actually spent some good time today working on things that I've been putting off. So for instance, this YouTube recording, I've been putting off. I actually recorded this YouTube video on Zoom, trying it out, seeing if it would be easier to record there, and I did not record the audio. So like a dummy, I <laughs> lost all the audio and I had to re-record this video and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Today I finally decided today's the day and it makes me happy looking at this right now, seeing that I've already spent 14 minutes working on something that I was procrastinating for a while. Now, as we scroll, this is the top page. So like the main page of your toggle account is this is what you're gonna see. So if we go over to the left-hand side of the page up in the corner, you can see that my workspace is called Nicole Lauren Photos Workspace. You can have multiple different workspaces. So if you have different businesses or if you wanna create a personal workspace, you could do that. I only have one workspace. I've told you before, I only do this in my business life for the most part. There's a couple like extracurricular and like hobby things that I track in here too. But for the most part, it's just my creative entrepreneur business that I track. And I love having that workspace. It, wor it suits me well, but you could create multiple workspaces if you wanted to. In here, this is the main page. So this is where you're gonna see what you're tracking currently. You're able to stop and start it as you like. So I'm gonna stop and start it. You can also assign different categories to it, which is really nice. I have all of these set up. And basically what I did is I created them as I started tracking different tasks. So if this overwhelms you and you see like all these different categories and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to make my categories. I don't know what I'm going to be tracking in here yet. I would just encourage you to just start time tracking and creating categories as you go. So let's say you wanted to start an Instagram story and you start time tracking that, well then go ahead and create a category for Instagram stories and then maybe you're gonna blog next. So then go ahead and create a category for blogging. So as you're tracking things, just add more categories. Don't, don't let this overwhelm you here at the outset. Another thing you can do is tagging. Tagging is another way for you to categorize what you're working on. It's basically like a sub set of categories is how I look at it. So I might have a YouTube category, but I might wanna put a tag that says YouTube recording. So I might do different things for YouTube in the general YouTube category. Like I might YouTube outline, I might YouTube record, I might edit for YouTube, I might post on YouTube, I might schedule for YouTube. And so there's so many different things on here that 
might fall in that general category of YouTube. But if I create all those different categories, it's going to be a lot of categories. And I'm not really like for my purposes, I'm not really going to be able to see the breakdown of all those categories really well. And we'll talk about that in a second. But if there's too many categories, I'm not going to be able to see what most of my time is going for and being able to track it at a glance. So that's what tags come in for is being able to help you further break down those categories. You can also do monetization. Um, this is not something that I have in my own business. It's like billable rates, billable hours. I have the basic free plan for Toggle. So that's something important to note is that I do not pay for Toggle. And there are definitely other features that you could use Toggle for if you want to upgrade. And I would definitely recommend if you think those features are helpful for you, you should upgrade. But I don't upgrade. I don't think it's helpful for me. For my purposes, I don't find that I need anything more than the free version of Toggle allows me to do. So that's a great thing. You don't have to pay for another service because I already have so many different services that I use in my business. And honestly, having another subscription is the worst. So having Toggle for free is seriously amazing. Now you can see over on this main page that I have different things that I've worked on. So YouTube recording this is what I did now. Earlier on this day, I did some Instagram stories. So I tracked that. And then on Friday, I did some Instagram stories, Instagram posts. I uploaded, I uploaded a Facebook album for an engagement session that I did. I also blogged that engagement session. I updated some spreadsheets that I have for consulting and bride inquiries. And then I also had some content planning. So just like planning my content for the rest of this month. And then also I do was debriefing the photo bundle. That's actually something that I was a part of where I offered my course at a discount for it's like a bundle with other creatives and they offered their products as well. And so I debriefed how that went, how many sales I got, how much money I made, things like that. So that gives you an idea of kind of like how a day in my life might go. And to be honest, I track so many different things in this toggle app. No two days are alike. I'm always working on different things. But the nice thing about it is I can go over here to reports in the left hand side and I can see how much time I'm spending week by week. So this is actually last week. And you'll see this week I only have 31 minutes in. It's Monday still. It's actually two o'clock in the afternoon, but I haven't really started work in earnest yet. Mondays are usually a little slower as well as Fridays. But you can see that I can go back to see what last week was like. And I love this feature. In fact, every single Monday when I do team meetings, if you don't know, I do a team meeting every single Monday and it is just me on my team. I do not have anyone else that is a full time team member in my business, but I find it so important for me to be able to check in with myself and to think about, OK, how much time was I spending last week working? How big is my Instagram growing? How big is my YouTube channel growing? And I basically look at different metrics and then I plan out my to do's and my tasks for the week. So one of the biggest things that I do in my team meetings on Mondays is looking at my toggle and seeing, OK, how much did I work last week and what did I mostly spend my time on? That helps me evaluate. OK, am I spending time on things that are actually moving the needle forward in my business or am I wasting time? Am I just being busy to be busy and not actually productive? Am I actually doing what's necessary or am I just trying to create things to make myself busy? And that's a question that you need to ask yourself all the time, especially if you're like me. I like being busy, but I'm not necessarily always moving the needle forward in my business. And that's important to differentiate. So toggle helps with that. So I love this feature where I can see, OK, which days of the week was I most productive? Most often, which actually surprised me since before I started using toggle, is that Thursdays are my most productive days. And usually, yeah, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays are my most productive. Mondays and Fridays are my, usually my least productive days. And that's OK. I've built that into my business that way. Another thing that I've built into my business is that I have different themes for different days. Something that I started when I quit my job back in June of last year. So Mondays and Wednesdays are more internal business days. I work on things in my own business, CEO tasks, things like that versus Tuesdays and Thursdays are more client facing days. Those are the only days that I take meetings and the only days that I work on client work. Now, sometimes I fudge that around a little bit and sometimes I don't go strictly based on what my themed days are. But that's the general idea of how I work in my business week to week. And so you can pretty much see like Tuesdays and Thursdays are client days. And so I am having actual tasks that I need to do. And so it makes sense that those days are a little bit more productive and I'm clocking more hours those days. Over here, you can see the total hours. You can also see what projects you worked on, which I think is super awesome. 
The fact that I worked mostly on administrative tasks last week is actually kind of surprising to me. Uh, we'll dive into what those tasks were over here in just a second. And then a lot of times I will have a large category that says other, and that's why you don't want to have too many categories because if you have too many, then most of your graph is going to look like other, and that's not really going to be helpful for you to see at a glance what you're spending your time doing. The other thing that I love to see is the time, the specific time entries. So what actually did you do for that amount of time and how much time did it take you? So I was offloading SD cards last week a whole lot. And if you know anything about storage or being a photographer, you know that offloading SD cards takes a while, especially if your computer is being slow or whatever it might be. If you have a lot of SD cards from different weddings, which is what I was doing, I was clearing them off, formatting them on my camera, you know, that's going to take a lot of time. The next largest, Oh, the next largest entry was IG stories. So that's interesting. But see what I mean? Like, it's kind of cool that it kind of surprises me, helps me get in the groove, helps me know what I was spending my time on so that I can plan better for the next week. Another great thing that I like is over here, you can see how much time you're spending on different tasks at a glance. So remember over here, we talked about how my administrative tasks was taking a lot of my time last week, but actually over here, I can see, okay, what were the actual tasks that I was doing in that category that were taking that much time? What actual blogs was I creating? What brainstorming and planning was I doing? What bride console did I have? What business and financial things was I doing? So it really just helps you see at a glance, oh, that's what I was doing. And it categorizes by the different projects, which is really awesome for you to see at a glance. The next thing I wanna talk through is projects. So there are different projects that I have in here. The cool thing about this is that I can see how much time I'm spending in each project category over the entire time that I've tracked time in Toggle, which is pretty cool. So I have different categories. And again, you can create these projects as you're having them come up in your business. Don't feel the need that you have to think about them all at once. In fact, I think that's pretty counterproductive because when you're tracking time, you're going to know how you want to categorize that in real time. If you're trying to project that into the future, you're probably going to create projects that you're not going to use and probably end up deleting. So it's going to waste time anyways. You can also put clients in here if you want. You can also put billable rates. Again, that's a something that a starter feature you'd have to pay for. You can put team members in here as well, as well as tags. I hope you enjoyed this short video walkthrough tutorial through Toggle. It is absolutely one of my favorite apps to use in my business, hands down, every single day. I pull it up, I use it, it helps me stay on track. If you wanna try it, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below so you can give it a shot. I would highly recommend that you give it a shot for at least a week so that you can see how it's going, see how you feel about it, and whether or not you wanna continue time tracking. But even if you don't use Toggle, I highly recommend that if you have a small business or you're a creative entrepreneur, that you time track so that you can see what's going on in your business at a glance. You can see how productive you're being, the times that you feel most productive, and what you're spending your time working on because oftentimes that is the hardest part. When you own a business, it's really easy to just go through the motions and like all your days kind of blur together and all the times during your days blur together when you leave that nine to five structure. So time tracking has been hands down one of the best things that I've done in my own business. If you try it out, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you next time here on the YouTube channel.